Good morning, this is meteorologist Evan Bookbinder with a special severe weather web brief for Friday, October 4, 2013. The national map shows a strong storm system coming out of Colorado late this morning that will work its way toward the northeast later today. Weather associated with that uh, includes severe weather possible across much of the eastern plains uh, into Iowa and western Missouri this evening. And on the back side, we have heavy snow falling, blizzard conditions expected over western South Dakota. So this certainly is the most powerful storm system of the early fall season. In addition, we're watching Tropical Storm Karen working north from the Gulf of Mexico. Ongoing here late this morning as that warm, moist air steadily works its way back into the area. We've got uh, some pockets of showers and thunderstorms over north-central Kansas into far northwest Missouri. This activity will not be severe. It will remain fairly uh, isolated throughout the rest of the morning into the early afternoon, and coverage should continue to diminish. But uh, folks, say north and west of St. Joe, may see a few additional showers, perhaps a rumble of thunder or two uh, through about the uh, noon hour or so uh, before that activity gradually clears, at least temporarily, through this afternoon. Of more importance, though, we're watching a strong cold front advancing across Nebraska and Kansas that will arrive uh, late this afternoon. That front interacting with the very warm and unstable air already in place is expected to lead to... Uh, severe thunderstorm development across the area this afternoon and evening, the greatest threat of which will occur along the I-80 corridor from Omaha to Des Moines and uh, up into north-central Iowa. Trailing along the cold front further south, still a decent risk uh, of some severe weather during the late afternoon, early evening hours. The main threat locally will be damaging winds, a secondary threat of large hail, and all the storms will include frequent lightning and locally heavy rainfall. The best timing here locally uh, across the uh, yellow shaded area will be, be between about uh, 6 p.m. and midnight uh, over the far eastern areas as this activity begins to diminish. Once that front blows through here during the overnight hours, the warm summer-like weather with temperatures in the 80s will quickly give way to 70s, 60s, 50s, and 40s by the time we wake up to tomorrow, leading to a rather raw and breezy day across the area with temperatures uh, likely not to get uh, to 60 degrees for the highs tomorrow. Severe weather probabilities for late this afternoon and tonight. You can see the greatest threats uh, remain up into central and northern Iowa associated with the low pressure system tracking across that area along the warm front. Trailing back to the south and west along the cold front, we can see enhanced probabilities upwards of 30% for large hail. That's hail greater than one inch in diameter as well as a severe damaging wind gusts greater than 60 miles per hour. And the greatest threat uh, here locally will be generally along and west of the I-35 corridor through mid-evening, with activity expected to take a gradual downward trend uh, toward the midnight hour. Tornado threat uh, will be greatest, again, well north of the area. Can't rule that out locally, but uh, primarily looks like a damaging wind, large hail threat for the area. Here's the expected timing of thunderstorms as I've got it painted out here. Expect uh, storms to initiate uh, back west of Omaha, west of Topeka, down toward Wichita sometime during the mid to late afternoon hours with that activity gradually increasing in coverage as it moves east. Uh, coming across the state line sometime between about 7 and 9 o'clock this evening. That includes the uh, Kansas City metro. And then the activity gradually pushes off toward the east toward midnight and gradually weakens. Do realize we've got a lot of activities going on uh, with it being the day of the week it is, uh, Friday night football. We've got a big NASCAR race out at the Speedway here in Kansas City, uh, barbecue festival, and lots of other activities, concerts, uh, sporting events, and so on going forth this evening with a timing of this activity uh, not too conducive uh, to overlapping with those activities. So we certainly uh, would like people to keep an eye to the weather, certainly pay attention to any severe weather watches or warnings that are issued, as again, this activity time-wise could come through when a lot of these uh, outdoor events are ongoing. 
Rainfall wise, uh, the system should be moving fairly quickly, so we're not looking at uh, heavy rainfall per se across the area. General widespread quarter to half inch expected in green. Maybe some heavier amounts with the stronger storms lining up to the west. Could see perhaps three quarters of an inch across northwest Missouri. But all in all, this activity will move fairly quickly through the area, and we're not looking at heavy rainfall or flooding. The other thing we'll have to contend with for today and tonight into Saturday will be the strong gusty winds. Today they'll be from the south, delivering that warm humid air into the region. Gusts could be 25 to perhaps 30 miles per hour at times, especially across western Missouri and eastern Kansas. And then into tomorrow as those winds shift into the northwest, uh, especially northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas, we'll still have to contend with 15 to 25 mile per hour gusts at times. Okay, that concludes the severe weather briefing for today, but what we do want to look at and point your attention to is a new enhanced hazardous weather outlook webpage. And that can be found linked from our main page at weather.gov slash kc. If we click the link here at the top, what we've done is gone ahead and break down the hazardous weather outlook, which you can still find in its text form here. We've broken down the individual hazards and risk threat so that you can see in greater detail whether we're expecting uh, severe weather, heat, winter weather, and other such hazards, and the risk level of those individual threats. You can see today hail and thunderstorm wind gusts are in an elevated or orange condition, and we also provide that outlook through the next seven days. So certainly feel free to take a look at that. We hope you like it. Uh, there's a survey at the top where you can provide feedback, and we certainly would appreciate uh, any comments we can get from you. This briefing may be updated here later this afternoon based on staffing and the uh, threat of severe weather as it evolves, and we thank you for tuning in today. Have a great day.